Okay, so this is on how to use war sweaters effectively. And here's my little squad of war sweaters. There's four of them, including an X-Arch. And I'll say that my opponent has a squad of 20 orcs. Um, okay, so what are... I'm just going to talk about briefly about, like, what what they're good at and what, you know, what they're used for. Now, they are a fast attack unit, so obviously... One of their strengths, you know, is that they're quick. They're jump infantry, so they can move 12 inches. Um, and the other thing that they're really good at is just, like, harassing the enemy, just getting up there, you know, just shooting them, just kind of, like, holding them off until your other army comes or, you know, maybe making the enemy shoot at them instead of, like, your other units. And, the, you know, they have a 3-plus armor save, so they're kind of durable. <coughs> and... Another thing I like about them is the fact that they have a death spinner, which at first I didn't really like. I mean, your range is only 12, and you have no AP, which bothered me at first. But then, you know, I came back later, uh, you know, and just after I was bored, and I realized, hey, you know, they have strength 6, 2 shots. So even though that they have no AP and their range is short, they still can dish out a lot of wounds. You'd be surprised that, you know, a little squad of just these five guys can actually dish out you know, maybe, geez, eight wounds or so, which is excellent. All right, so um, I'm just going to talk about let's see, just how to move them and so forth. Okay, so there are jump infantry, so you can move up to 12 inches. You don't have to move 12, but you can. I'm going to move them up just so I know I'm in the range, but <laughs> just to make sure everyone you know is in the range but I don't really want to get charged either next turn. So, I mean, that's pretty close, you can tell. Now, I'm going to go right to my shooting phase, which is, this, okay, they're 12-inch range with a death spinner, and they're all good. And I'll just say that the X-Arch has just a regular death spinner. You know, I'm not going to deck them out or anything. All right, so the, so the regular War Spiders need a 3 or higher, because the ballistic skill is a 4. And I got four. Not too good. But about half. Alright, now I got a win. It's six strength. So six B four, because it's the toughness of an orc. Is a two. And I got three wins. Now they gotta roll you know, they gotta roll three and they need sixes. So I just killed three of them. Because most of the time their armor's gonna be a six. Unless they're hard boys. <coughs> okay. So right there I killed three. Which isn't that impressive, but again, you saw how many shots I had. Alright, now the regular X Arch. I'll just use white dice show. He needs two or higher. Uh, I got a one and a two. It's not too good. And then a two or higher again. I get a six. Another armor save. Alright, so I killed another one. So, again, I mean, I only killed four of them. And then, you know, so there's plenty left. <coughs> so, you know, the orc player and most of the time are going to be like, okay, whatever, I just lost four guys, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to charge you. Because that's what we do. We just charge and go crazy. And just try to smash stuff. But here's the kicker. If I roll well, of course. Now, the warp jump generator is just, you know, it's um, one of their war gears, and basically it says that, you know, during the assault phase, you get to roll two die, and you add that up, and that's how far you can move as long as you don't, like, land in impossible terrain or roll, a, you know, a double, basically. I mean, you can still move that distance if you roll a double, you just lose one guy. So I'll roll. Just the, and the point of this is, I don't want them charging me next turn. You know, and that's what the, you know, uh, orcs player is going to be like, oh, I'm just going to charge. I only lost four guys, I'll just charge and hold you in combat. Alright, so I got seven. So what we do is, we just take the roller... And we move back seven inches. Now, this might not seem like much. You know, I mean, it's like, okay, big whoop. But at the same time, you got to think of this. They're going to move up, you know, six. We'll say it's here. Okay. Maybe here at most. And now, you know, they don't have fleet of foot unless they call a wog. So you, they can't really charge you next turn. You know, I mean, they can move up six, but look, it, it's still going to be too shy. I mean, I'm not measuring, I know, but I doubt that, you know, from there to there, there's only a foot. <clears throat> Alright, so, 
that might be a little pain in the butt for them. All of a sudden, you know, you kill four guys basically for free, and they can't assault you, so you can just do it again. You know, next turn you just move up, you know, just shoot them up again, and then just fly with, you know, how far you can move back, as long as you roll high. Alright, I roll seven, actually, again. And, of course, you know, they're going to be coming at you, but you can kind of move in any direction, as long as it's, a, I think, a straight line. Um, which is nice. Alright, so, let's just go to the X-Arch, and we'll just talk about, you know, what you can do with him. You can give him uh, an additional Death Spinner for 5 points. And I kind of like this, actually. Um, and the reason why is it's cheap, it's only 5 points, and what this does is it gives you an Assault 4 Death Spinner. His Ballistic Skill is a 5, you know, and the Death Spinner Strength 6. So most of the time, you're going to be hitting, you know, I mean, you're going to be hitting on 2s and wounding on 2s maybe threes, which is excellent. Just more armor states, that's great. Uh, you can give him, you can replace your death spinner with a spinneret rifle, which is pretty nice too. It's, you know, 18 inches, strength 6, um, AP1, assault 1, pinning, which is good. I normally don't use it, because I kind of like the double death spinner. And you can also give him power blaze for 10 points, which I like, and the reason why is because, you know, he has two attacks, but those are only just regular two attacks with strength three. That's not, that's not that good. But if you give him, you know, um, power blades, it gives you a one plus attack, so now you have three, you know, attacks with him, and they ignore armor. That's excellent. And it helps that your initiative is six. So, you have initiative six, three attacks, you know, weapon skills of five, you know, I mean, your strength's only a three, but again, their power weapons, that's great, no armor saves, that's awesome. Okay, so, you can give him X-Arch powers, and, let's see, the Surprise Assault is 10 points, and Withdrawal is 15. You could take both, but it's up to you, I normally don't take both. <coughs> so, a Surprise Assault, it gives you Deep Strike, which is nice, and I'll show you why. Now, I'm not going to describe Deep Strike, I can, I'll make a video later just on Deep Strike, not right now, though. It's just because it's going to chew up time. Um, so, we'll just say you deep strike in, okay? And you actually hit. So, I'll just roll the scatter die anyway. Alright, well, I got an arrow. But we'll say you got a hit. So, they come in here, okay? Now, you can't deep strike on the first turn, but... We'll just say it's the second turn, and they actually came in. And again, <clears throat> what you want to do is... You know, you deep strike in, you shoot them up. And then, normally you cannot assault when you deep strike, but what's sweet about this is the fact that when you, you know, you, because you have your warp jump generators, in the assault phase you could roll to die and again try to retreat, that type of thing. It's nice. And the last one is withdraw. Withdraw is great. It's a hit and run. You get hit and run special roll, so at the end of, like, as long as you're, you know, whenever you're in uh, close combat, at the end of the, the um, close combat uh, round, you roll, you take an initiative test, and their initiative test is a 5. So you roll a die, and as long as you get a 5 or under, you, um, I think you roll 2 die, crap, I can't remember, maybe 3 die, I think it's 2 die, and you just, no, it's 3 die, you roll 3 die, and you just go in a straight line at 3 die, so, say if I'm, like, say if they're actually in combat with me, and I'm like, crap, I don't want to be in combat at the end of the round, so all these guys are up here. I rolled three die. I'll take an initiative test first. And I got a five. No, I rolled three die. And I got nine, ten, eleven. So I go eleven in any one direction. So I go eleven inches or, you know, eleven inches. So, again, war fighters, you know, they're actually really good choices. And hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, definitely send me a message.